Now let's talk about another new feature that has been added to PHP 8, which is match. Match is a great way to compare values and get a result. It acts something like switch and ternary functions. This is a sample of match use case. We have some number. We want to see if it's five, then echo five. If it's four or three, we can write something else. And if it doesn't match any of them, we want to pass default that is nothing. As you can see from this structure, we have to use this, like we use in arrays. And for multiple cases, we can use comma to separate them instead of repeating if it's four, write four or three, if it's three, write four or three. It's going to combine them. At the end, if it doesn't match anything, we are going to get nothing. And all of this is going to be returned and we are going to store that in a variable and then later use that variable. So let's see PHP 8 index.php at the moment the result is 5 now let me change it to something like 3 now it's 4 or 3 because it's come here it's not 5 then it comes here it's 4 or 3 and it's going to echo it here and what if we pass something like 2 it's going to say nothing there are two things that you have to be careful with. The first thing is that the comparison here is identical. So it's like we are comparing with three equal signs, not two. So right now, if I write five, it's going to check and it comes here. But if I write five as like integer, it's going to get nothing because this five is integer and this five is string. So be careful of that. And the other thing is that if we don't pass the default value, it's going to throw an error if it doesn't match anything. So if I change it to five again and run the code, no problem. But if I change it to something that is not in these cases, it's going to throw an error. So be very careful of that. It's a very powerful feature and it's going to make our code more readable, but you have to be careful about these things as well. Another use case is that we can use it like general. Uh, instead of passing a number here, I can pass like true here and then do some conditionals. For example, I can say if number equals to five now i am doing the comparison i am writing the function to compare something now because i'm using two fives it's not going to be identical anymore match is not going to compare it here i am comparing it here so let's see if i pass five it should give me five and it did you can also check for ranges if you want for example we can say if it's greater than equal to five past five if it's less than five echo less than five right now there is no other cases that would cause this match to throw an error but if i write something like if it's less than three then if I pass something like four, because it's in none of the cases, it's going to throw an error. It's a very powerful tool, but it, you need to be careful of these conditions as well. That's it for today. Let's continue with our course.